Jesus Christ. We thank God for each and every one that is here present tonight. We thank God for a pretty big crowd tonight compared to isn't it? We're glad for each and every one of you here. It's good when you can present yourselves before the Lord and give him praise and give him honor for what he has done, is doing, will do, and can do. Yeah. We thank God for each and every one of you that are here present. Let all the young people that are here. We're always glad for the Word of God. The thing that gives us the information about God and what God would have us to do as the human family. The Word of God is the thing that God has left on record for man to read, to obey, and to love, so that at the end he can be saved. For we know and understand that it's not God's will that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. God is looking for every man, woman, boy, and girl to repent of their sins, to become godly sorry of all the sins that you have committed, those that you know and those that you don't know. Because there is those things that you know. Because Adam ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Didn't he do so? Uh -huh. So there are things that you know, but then there are things that you don't know. But we're glad for the word to give us the information about God and what he wants us to do as a people. We're glad for all of you that are here present. We're grateful for God keeping us and allowing us to be here, keeping us throughout this week, not allowing hurt, harm, or even danger to come upon us. But we're glad for what he has done for us. Because as the song went forth, he made a one day, made a day, made, made a way. Is that right? Amen. One day he made a way. That he, he done did that for everybody. Amen. He done did something for you. Yeah, Sometimes you don't really acknowledge it and understand it. But he has done something for you. He has made a way. He is a way maker. What you mean he's a way maker? He's one that is able, when it don't seem like nothing can happen, or nothing is going to go your way, now he makes a way. He made a way for the children of Israel, didn't he? Amen. When they went through the Red Sea on dry land. That's Jesus making a way. He made a way for Daniel and the lion den. He made a way for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So he is a way maker. And it's all by faith. Amen. Nothing that we can see right away, but it's all by faith. And sometimes it can get to the point of death, but he is still a way maker. Is that right? Amen. So we're certainly glad for our Lord and Savior. Let us continue to strive to believe what he says and to be what he would have us to be in these last dark and the evil days. We're grateful to everyone that is here. We pray that God will ever continue to bless us and keep us ever with a mind to look to him from whence coming our help. Let's get started tonight in the fourth chapter of Hebrews. thank God for that, but before you get started there, let's, let's go to the third chapter of Hebrews, same book. We'll work our way over. It's a lot of good things in all of the Word. It's, you open the book, it's, it's good things in there. Sometimes we don't understand it, but it's, it's all good, because every Word of God is what? Right. Every, word of, every Word of God is right. It don't matter what God do, everything He says is right. We can't say that about ourselves, but he can say it about himself Amen. because of who he is. Is that right? Amen. All right, let's start the third chapter. Read briefly, read fast, and read with clarity so we can try to get through the Lord's will. Amen. What is said, my beloved? Wherefore, holy brethren. Wherefore, holy brethren. 
Partakers of the heavenly call. But what kind of brother? Holy, holy brother. brother. You know, we strive that God help us to be a holy people. Holy brother. When you're a holy brother, you just don't do and do act and do any kind of old thing. Is that right? You don't want to be holy. God is holy. Is that right? So we have to strive to be like him. Wherefore, holy brethren, partakers of the holy heavenly call. Well, we are we have a part of the heavenly call. Go ahead. Consider the apostle and high priest of our profession, Christ Jesus. Now we want you to consider somebody. You know, it's like the example for us. The one that was given as an example to not only us that are here present, but to the world. Is that right? He was an example for the world. That's why he said, consider him. Is that right? Amen. Consider the apostle. The and apostle. And high priest. He's the apostle and the high priest. Of our profession. All right, of our profession. Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus. All right, let's see what he said about it. Who was faithful to him that appointed him. Who was faithful to him. You know, we want to be faithful in God. Yay. Is that right? Amen. Being faithful is very important in every aspect of life. It's important to be faithful when you are one that is someone else is looking at or someone is depending on or uh, you striving to be an example. You have to be faithful. Well, the scripture let us know that Christ Jesus was faithful. Is that right? Amen. To him that appointed him. Now, he was faithful to him that appointed him. Is that all right? Amen. Faithful to him that appointed him. Amen. You know, those of you young people, one day you will be on a job. You know, a man might want to make you a supervisor. You may be an owner of your own business. Amen. Is that right? You can't be an owner of your own business or whatever and not be faithful. Amen. The first one got to be faithful to you. Is that right? Amen. You got to prove yourself to be faithful because then that'll help you be more successful Amen. with your business. Is that right? Because if you're unfaithful, then you hire somebody and they're watching you as being the head or the one that's the owner of the business and you don't show up to work, you come in later, you don't, then they feel as though they can do the same thing. Is that right? Amen. Faithful. Amen. That's why we have to be faithful and striving to do what the Lord says. Amen. Amen. Faithful to him that appointed him. That's like a husband. A husband love a faithful wife. And a woman love a faithful husband. Amen. Is that right? Amen. You love faithful children. You know, because that ease the burdens. It ease problems. It, because you know someone else is there to take on a responsibility and don't mind taking on a responsibility. Is that right? Proving themselves. How you think you get raises on a job? You think you get how you think you get them? You don't get them just by walking in there thinking you're pretty or handsome. Is that right? You can walk in there at nine o'clock every day, you're supposed to be to work seven. That don't mean nothing because you walking in there stepping high. Right. <laughs> Is that right? You got to be faithful to him that have hired you. Amen. 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 Is that right? Then it moves on up. But Christ our Lord was faithful in all things that he was appointed Amen. by the one that he was appointed by. Amen. Read the book. Who was faithful to him that appointed him as also Moses was faithful in all his house. Moses, he was a faithful man in all of his house. Lord Jesus. So it's good to be faithful in Yes, it's good. It really is. I mean, y'all understand that, don't you? Y'all understand how important it is to be faithful. Is that right? I mean, it's, a, it's an important thing. It's, it's important. Moses was faithful in all his house. Read the book. But this man was counted more worth, worthy of more glory than Moses. Well, this man here, he was counted more, more glory. glory than Moses. Christ Jesus counted more faithful and glory than Moses. Read. In as much as he who have built the house have more honor than the house. He that built the house. Amen. You know, he that, that established Christ Jesus have more honor than the house. You know, a builder, he get more 
A lot of honor. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Read the book. But every house is built by some man. All right, every house is built by some man. But he that built all things is God. He that built all things. Everything that is established, everything that is set up, everything that is built. Amen. God is the builder. Amen. He's what do you mean? He's the one that structure things. He's the one that get things in line. He's, he's the one that order things Amen. in the right perspective. Who is God? Amen. God is the one that can correct everything. Yes. All right? And Moses verily was faithful in all his house. Uh-huh. As a servant. He was faithful in all his house. As a servant. servant. He ain't talking about him being no prophet. Amen. Him being no apostle. Amen. Him being no this or whatever they may say. The title. Because people get strung out over titles. Yes, sir. Is that right? But he was just a servant. Yeah. He was a servant. Yeah. Is that right? Jesus. There to serve. There to do whatever what needed to be done. And when you find somebody faithful and you find faithfulness, yeah. then you don't mind saying, bro, sis, I need you to do this, do that. You know, Because they're faithful. Ain't no grumbling in faithfulness. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't no bickering. Is that right? Amen. But Moses was faithful. Amen. And all of his house. Lord Jesus. Go ahead. As a servant. As a servant. Amen. Now listen. He was faithful in all his house as a servant. For what? For a testimony of those things which were to be spoken after. Uh oh. He was faithful in those things which were to be spoken after. Amen. Is that right? Amen. It means something. Because, you know, let's say you're faithful on your job. You're faithful. Do you not know you are setting such a standard? You are setting something that you may be gone and people talking about you. Amen. This brother was faithful. This lady was faithful. This man was faithful. He did this. He did the other. He done custom, good customer service. Whatever, whatever it is on your job, Amen. you can leave a legacy just by being faithful. Amen. You'll never be forgotten. Amen. I don't care if you're the man that... You don't have to do it, but you make coffee every morning. You faithful. You're going to be there at 4 30 when the people that come in at 5 o'clock, 5 30, and on, that they're going to smell the coffee. They, if they don't smell the coffee, they say, Buck must not be here today. Because, is that right? Buck ain't here. Is Buck here today? No, he ain't. I thought he was, but I ain't smell no coffee. He's a left and next. Is that all right? Then if somebody else come behind, Buck, doing just like Buck. He said, you know what? He reminded me of Buck. That's how Buck was. Amen. Buck, is that all right? Amen. And he might do a little more than Buck. He might bring some donuts. <laughs> Finna make him a little. Yeah. So what I'm saying, I hope y'all get this, because he said, I tell you, earth is dead. And you believe now, I say you believe that way. These are things that I'm telling you how faithfulness works. Yes. Is that right? You, you see it every day on your job. I'm sure there are plenty of you even in school, uh, in, in wherever you are, work, or uh, even at home, even. Is that right? Amen. You're faithful. Is that right? Amen. You're faithful watching this. You're faithful taking out the track. You're faithful cleaning up the yard. Ain't nobody got to tell you nothing. You just do it because you see it needs to be done. Amen. Is that right? And then you go a little bit farther. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Faithfulness means something. Whether we understand or believe it or not, it means a whole lot to be that way. What he says. And Moses verily was faithful in all his house. Well, he was faithful in all of his house. As a servant. Yes. For a testimony of those things which were to be spoken after. Yes. But Christ, as a son over his own house. Christ, he was faithful as a son over his own house. Whose house are we? Whose house are we? If we hold fast to confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end. Whose house are we? Whose house? Do you know you are, you are a vessel? You are a tabernacle? How faithful are we towards God? See, you got to be faithful when you don't even show up here. You got to be faithful way out there somewhere else. Man. Nobody see you. They even know you. You still, still got to be faithful. Is that right? Amen. Christ was faithful over his own house. So we have to be faithful within our own self. Faithfulness comes from us, within. Is that right? 
You got to be faithful. Because somebody else be faithful, that don't make you faithful. Amen. You got you can look at the individual, but you got to have faithfulness within yourself. What are you saying? Whose house are we if we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end? Yes. Well, for as the Holy Ghost said, what? today if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the as in the provocation in the day of temptation in the wilderness. Yes. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works forty years. Yes, they did. Wherefore I was grieved with that generation. Why? And said, they do always err in their heart. They always err in their heart. Their heart ain't right. Amen. Go ahead. And they have not known my ways. They, they, they don't know my ways. Because God got a way that's mighty sweet. God got a way that's different from our way. Amen. He said, my ways are not your ways. Neither my thoughts your thoughts. God's way is totally opposite of ours. Is that right? Amen. We got to go against the grain. When it comes to doing the will of God, being what God has us to be. What he says. They do always err in their hearts. Well, they do always err in their hearts. They have not known my way. They ain't done no more ways. So I swear in my wrath. What he said. They shall not enter into my rest. They will not enter into my rest. You know how do you know how contrary they got out in the wilderness? They got so contrary out that they they got so contrary out in the wilderness. They got to the point to they want to make them a captain. They want to go back into Egypt. God done brought them out of Egypt. They done seen what God has done. They done seen the Red Sea depart. They done seen manna come from heaven. They done seen all these great things that God has done. And then they still get out there and still have their hearts not right. They, they err. Look that people can see things God do. See things God do. The, the, the felt his presence and see what he do. And still, mm -hmm. error in their heart. Yeah. Sometimes you wonder, how can that person, how can that happen? God did that to him. God healed him. God delivered him. God saved his children. God did this. And they still error. Amen. We got to be faithful to God. Isn't that something? That's kind of scary, though. Because sometimes sometime I heard the bishop say years ago, Condition don't make people on God. That's right. Condition don't make people. You, you, will, you will think within your own little mind. When this person is in this kind of predicament, they should want the Lord. They should want prayer. They should want to do what's right. And they still cussing people out. They still acting crazy. They still do what they want to do. And they're in a bad shape. So condition, a state that a person is in, does not make them want God. God got to put it in your heart. That's why he say they always do error in their hearts. They have not known my ways. They haven't known my ways. So I swear in my wrath. What he swear in his wrath? They shall not enter into my rest. They ain't gonna enter. Did they enter in? No, sir. They did. They did. From twenty years on and upward, they couldn't go to the promised land. Moses, Moses stood on. And looked over and saw it. Moses Jesus. couldn't even go into the promise. Amen. Ain't that amazing? Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus. Because they err in their heart. Our heart got to be in this thing. Yes. Our heart, we got to want to live for God. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I don't care where you are. You know. Jesus. We all have fun. We all have a good time. But you just got to know. I'm living for the Lord. I can't, I can't do, I can't say, I can't act in kind of way. Amen. You're human. You're going to feel that. You're going to feel that point. You're gonna, things going to tick you, but you got to understand. I, 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 I'm living for the Lord. I, I, can't, I can't go this far. Mm -hmm. When things and trials come your way and trying to get you to do things that's contrary to the will of God and you strive to live for God, I can't go that way. Amen. He was faithful in all his house. And the scriptures say Christ was faithful over his own body. Amen. Are you going to be faithful in your own self? Huh? You're like, well, I don't care. I, I, I'm weak. No, you're not weak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're Amen. just giving in. Amen. 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 What he says, my beloved? Take heed, brother. Take heed, brethren. Lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief. Take heed, brethren. 
lest an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. In departing. You know, that's amazing. God do things, you know, people still get them right. Saints, I'm going to tell you. Don't think departing started down here. It didn't start here. Amen. It started in heaven. Amen. When Lucifer, Abaddon, when he turned yes. from his holy state. Yes. That's where things started at. And it's, it is, it's, it's, it's now it's down here. Amen. We have to be careful. Lest a root of, of bitterness or evil, of unbelief, that enter your heart. Amen. And departed from where? Living God. The what God? Living God. God is alive. Amen. You got to have faith and believe that. No, you don't, you don't see him like you see me. Amen. You got to have faith in him. Amen. You got to seek him. You got to seek them when ain't nobody else around. You got to call them when ain't nobody telling you to call them. Is that right? You got to ask them to help you when ain't nobody else to ask for them. Why? You got to get a question. I hear God say, no, our Christ is in you. You got everybody got to know for themselves. You got to know for yourself. Is that right? Amen. You know, a man got to know for himself in his wife, Lord. You know, I gotta tell me, Gwen, love me. Mm -hmm. Anybody got ain't nobody. You, you just tell, you just sing it to the choir and sing. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Anybody gotta tell Gwen well not? I, I love her. Thank you. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Is that right? I know that. It's proof in it. It's faithfulness in it. Is that all right? Yeah. That's what I said. Is that right? You got to get acquainted. You got to get to know. You got to know how Christ is in you. Right. How he dwells in you. Do you know? Are you just going on what somebody Listen, don't go on what somebody say. That's why a long time ago, when people be seeking the Holy Ghost, calling on Jesus, you know, I understand why people say it and did it. Because you want people to know what they say. Don't tell them. You heard, you might have heard them speaking to them. You might have heard them and they were speaking and they was glorifying God to the highest. But if they don't testify with yeah, themselves, yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to testify with yourself. And not only tell them, you got to know within yourself. You got to know that there is a change. You got to know that God is with you. Then when you know, then you, when you know, then you can testify with it. You don't have to, and you know what? You ain't got to be shaky about it. Is that all right? You know when you, when you ain't sure about something, you're shaky. You're shaky. You ain't you ain't too you ain't you ain't too sure. But see, I'm sure I got it. I know I got it. Is that all right? But you know what I do? I get down and glory to God. I will get down and call on Jesus like I did when I ain't never. And no, it had received all the yes, good. I, that's what I'll do. Yes, See, I ain't going to say, well, I, I got it, I'm all right. I'm no, no. I, as a matter of fact, one, one scripture say, you know, we ain't saved yet. Yes, ain't nobody saved yet. Who <laughs> said, you know, everybody still dying. We ain't saved yet. Yes, we striving yes, to be saved. Jesus. Ain't nobody saved yet. Ain't nobody, Amen. You know, I know I got it. I know I'm saved. Oh, you ain't saved. You striving. That's right. But you need to know how Christ is in you Amen. while you are striving. Jesus. Thank you. Is that right? Yes. Amen. 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 I got to tell me nothing. Is that all right? Hallelujah. Anybody got to tell me, anybody have to tell me whether my children love me? I know that. I, I, I know that. Is that all right? You should know, you know your children love you, don't you? You know your wife, you know, you, you know that. Now, do they get upset with me? Sure, man. They're supposed to. That's human nature. Sometimes people get upset with God. Lord, why? Don't you, you know what? We don't have the audacity to ask God why. Because you know what? He do what he wanted to do. You can ask him. No, you shouldn't have did. You can't tell God what he shouldn't have done. You got to come to God bold and holy and humble. Mm -hmm. 
Is that right? Because you know what God can do what He wants to do. Yes, I don't mean, we, we get upset. That, I'm saying that because so that we get we get down on Saturday. God, we just wonder, wonder why. That's how people would do it with, with Job. You know, they were telling Job, and Job said, "How can I answer? I can't answer what God do. He do it. I can't give no answer to what God do. I can't say God shouldn't have did that. He shouldn't have called that 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 that." That old, that volcano that killed so many people that erupted like it did. Oh, well, you, you saw all the people down there. What can we say? God do things according to His will. To some people, this sounds like it don't make sense. God is a God, and I said that because we as humans we get upset with our children. Our children get upset with us. We get upset with other people. Is that right? We do that as humans. But what we want to learn how to do is still have the right love, the right spirit within us. Because we are human. Is that right? Okay. But we want to know out of what God does, he still loves. He loves the world. Is that right? Regardless of what I'm not sure I can even get upset, they still love me. I still love them. Still love my wife. Is that right? You get upset with your husband and wife. Most, a lot of y'all got upset. A lot of your children got upset with your parents when they told you you couldn't do a thing. Or they say they won't go by with you. But you still love them deep down inside. Amen. You still care for them, though. Amen. They still love you, though they tell you no. Mm -hmm. They say, no, you, no, we're, no, we're not. That don't mean they hate you. Amen. They just know what's best for you. Right. At that time, you don't feel it, though. Don't you know God knows what's best for us? Amen. Amen. That's right. Thank you, Lord. He knows what's best for us. Yeah, so we thank God for that. Is that all right? What do you say, my beloved? Take heed, brother. All right, brother, take heed. Lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief. A heart of unbelief. And departing from the living God. We don't want to do that. Go ahead. But exhort one another dead. Okay, this is what we do. Let's exalt one another daily. While it is called to Let's live. exalt one another. Let's exalt. That's what God tells us to do. Exalt one another. Encourage one another. Amen. Give others. Words of encouragement. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Say that's what is that what God say? What he say? But exhort one another daily. But exalt one another daily. While it is called today. While it is called today. Lest any of you be hardened through the the, the deceitfulness of sin. See what sin can do? Sin. See, God wants us to kind of encourage one another. Hey no, brother, I need encouragement too. So I'll be standing up here. I need encouragement. I do. So I need encouragement. Y'all need encouragement. I'm, I, every time I get up and stand before people, I'm trying to encourage. Amen. Every time I go in the world, I'm, I'm trying to get somebody something to encourage their heart to get them closer to Jesus. Amen. To get them closer to know who He is. For you to try. Amen. You know, it's it's like you tell people things, and it's like you 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 tell them to try. It's like in anything you do, whatever it may be. Whether it's sports, whether it's sewing, whether what it's cooking, whatever it is, they may say, when you cook your poking beans, I know you don't normally do this, and it don't sound right, but put your little brown sugar in there. Put your brown sugar. Ain't never put no brown sugar. Mommy ain't never put no brown sugar. I ain't seen my mom tell you what to do. And then when you put your, when you, before you cook your poking beans, Get you some ham and saute it with some onions and some butter and get it real sauteed and real crispy, kind of brown. And then put it in there with some brown sugar and stir it up real good. See, see what I eat then. Y'all got them on a poke me. Is that right? You have gave them something that would help them, that would encourage them. That's what we need from one another. We need those kind of things to help each other. Say things. I mean, it's. Sometimes I know that we, when you're not used to doing a thing, it, it gets difficult, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's like it's like a man, he can easily walk up to his daughter and give her a hug and tell her he love her. Right. That's easy. Yes. But for him to grab his son, it ain't talking no funny business. That's right. Amen. I'm talking about real men. Amen. To be able to walk up to him and say, boy, I love you, man. Thank God for you. Stay strong, son. That's true. Huh? Mm -hmm. That means a lot. Mm -hmm. That goes a long way. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Mm -hmm. 
Amen. Amen. So, but when you're not used to doing things, it's, it seems like, man, this is the hardest thing to do. It's like Mount Everest, man. Can I climb the mountain? But we have to practice more of these kind of things. Is that right? Amen. It's like it's things that husband and wife have to do that seem so hard now. But the more you work with it, the more you work with it, it becomes easier and better. Amen. The more we give each other encouragement. Mm. Is that right? Yes, yes, Somebody said, I want to write so and so a letter. Where, where they live at? They live in Thailand. What you write the book about? I just want to write because some people like reading letters. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Don't they? Yeah. Amen. <laughs> now something that hopefully I want to get there with the uh, administrative area. Yeah, I want to get some letters typed up because I sit down and think about people sometimes. I tell my wife, I say, this is what I want. I want to be able to, when I think about somebody, I just put a put a letter in the mail and mail it to them. Nice, nice. That do you know what that'll do for people? The scriptures say, exalt one another yeah. daily. Yeah. Yeah. While it's called today, yeah. how do you take somebody from here when you call yeah. them up? Or you write them? Or you say something? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. That means something. But it's something that you have to work on doing. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Have you ever encouraged anybody on your job at school? Amen. Yes. Yeah. I made them feel. Yeah. And you encourage them so good till they come back to you with some more encouragement. I've had people always say, I ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't telling, I ain't talking to everybody. I want to talk to you. Yeah. Huh? That means something, you all. Yeah, young man, young lady, that means something. When you can be an example to help somebody. Yeah. Is that right? Exalt. Instead of tearing them down. But that's what God said. Just a few words of that. To, to let us know that God wants us as a people. It's something we need to work and we can work on it. Which I know we can. That, but exalt one another daily. While it is called today. You know, you know, ex, you know God may lay on your heart, you know, while it's called today. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. While it's called today. You know, it's like, you know, this is just a period you're talking about the lady. How did lady do us, Kim, that you went to see in the hospital? I'm going to go back to see her tomorrow. Yeah, let us know how she's doing. How she went in there and was praying with her and visiting her. Mm -hmm. That means a lot. And hopefully we as a people, we can be able to visit the sick. Amen. You know, it, I mean, we, we can do that. We can do it as groups. Amen. We can do it as individual people. Amen. You know, and ain't got to be nobody we know. That's right. You know, just, just a word of encouragement to somebody. You know? And then how good it is when you go to a brother or a sister that's in the Lord. Amen. Is that right? Be able to go visit them. I ain't gonna stay long. I just wanna come say hey, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You say, you're gonna drive 40 minutes just to tell somebody to praise the Lord. Is that helping? <laughs> Is that help? I want to exalt them. Is that right? So it's things like that that can help us to be better in the Lord. Encourage one another. Encourage brothers, encourage each other to do things like that. Is that right? Amen. Amen. I mean, we come out and do the yard, Susan, do certain things. But you can do things other than that. Amen. Okay. Amen. Encourage one another. To help one another. But that's what the Lord said to you. He said, but exalt one another daily. While it is called today. Why? Lest, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. Because you can be hardened. See, ain't that so hardened through the deceitfulness of sin? Sin will make you think the wrong thing. Sin will make you see things the wrong way. Sin. Ain't nothing but sin, ain't nothing but the devil. That's all he trying to do. Uh, he trying to make us see things the wrong way. That's just his job. Do y'all know that's his job? Amen. His job is to, to make you see something evil in me. I'm just using that as an example. Amen. Is that right? Amen. To make you see something evil in somebody else. To make you think the wrong way. Yeah, and I say this a lot of times, and I don't know if young guys and girls have experienced this. You know, somebody new comes to school, right? And you don't like them. You ain't never said hey to them, bye to them, good morning, good afternoon. But you just don't like them. That's the sin of deceitfulness. Something that got in you. Why, why, why? Why you don't like them? 
Yeah, I'll let the wind walk. What do you got to do with that? But that's how our minds are. We look at people and we pre perceive certain things about people. And you come to find out before the end of the school, that's your best friend. And sometimes people have enough in them to say, you know what, man? When I first started with me, I couldn't stand you. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Sometimes we sometimes things get up in our minds and our heart as kids, as children, as young people, as people. It's a spirit that gives them. And we don't know why we think a certain way. But it happens. It's amazing, isn't it? Amen. That's why he said, exalt one another daily while it's called a day. Lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. Sin is deceitful. Read the book. But well, we are made partakers of Christ. Yes. If we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end. Hold your confidence steadfast to the end. While it is said. While it said what? Today if you will hear his voice. Today you hear his voice. Don't harden not your heart. Don't harden your heart. As in the as in the provocation. Yes. For some, when they had heard, did provoke. For some, when they had heard, they did provoke. Howbeit, not all that came out of Egypt by Moses. See, all ain't that right? Some gonna provoke anyway. That like we were talking the other night about popcorn. You ever pop popcorn? Most all the kernels don't pop. Is that right? It's in the bag with the popcorn. It's in the heat, but they don't all pop. Well, some people are around, but everybody, even those that came out of Egypt, all of them were but there was something that did. They got stubborn, they got hardened. You know what they start doing? They start grumbling. And God didn't like that. Jesus. Even when Caleb, Caleb went out and uh, the spy out of the land, Caleb and Joshua, Caleb and Joshua came back and they said, if God delighted in us, you know, we'll, we'll get the land. But some of us are provoking. So you know, brought us out here for us to be killed. Is that right? Everybody didn't, everybody didn't but a lot of them did. Everybody's not going to talk Sour or talk uh, ways that's not edifying, yeah. but some people will. So don't get surprised when there are people that talk that way yeah. and do things because it's, it's scripture. Amen. What he said? Howbeit, not all that came out of Egypt by Moses, but with whom was he grieved forty years? Who was he grieved? How many years? Forty years. Forty years. Was it not with them that had sinned? Was it not with them that had sinned? Whose carcasses fell in the wilderness? Forty years. Amen. That's a long time, isn't it? Yes, sir. Amen. You know, the scriptures say how God kept them in the wilderness. They stayed in the wilderness 40 years. Amen. Their feet didn't swell, neither did their garments get old. Amen. Amen. Could you imagine if, if, if they were back there? Having a pair of Jordan that lasted 40 years. <laughs> huh? So stay, uh, is that all right? A Sean John shirt that could last 40 years. Didn't get old. And, now that happened. I'm just using that example because we understand that. But a, a garment yes. that lasted in the wilderness. I ain't talking to end up in no closet. That's right. I'm talking about in the rain, in the heat, in the cold, right there. Jesus. In the wilderness. Yeah. It lasted 40 years. Yeah. Lord Jesus. Is God good? Yes, he yeah. is. God is a keeper yes, of everything. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. What did he say? And to whom swear he that they should not enter into his rest. They ain't going to enter in his rest. But to them that believe not. Them that believe not. So we see that they could not enter they in. They could not enter in. Why? Because of unbelief. Go into chapter 4 real briefly. Let us therefore fear. But they didn't enter in, but the scripture teaches us, let us. Let's fear the Lord. Young people, old, yes, let's fear God. Let's respect him. Let's fear the Lord. Let us therefore fear. Lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest. Yes. And if you should seem to come short of if it. If any of you seem to come short of it. For unto us was the gospel preached. Yes. As well as unto them. Uh-huh. The word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. What else is it? For we which have believed do enter into rest. 
as he said, as I have sworn in my wrath, if they should enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. What happened? For he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise, and God did rest the seventh day from all his works. Uh -huh. And in this place again, if they should enter into my rest, seeing therefore it remain that they some, remain the rest that some, amen, that some must enter therein. Yes. And they to whom it was first preached entered not in because of unbelief. See what unbelief do? I believe I'll mess you up every time. Amen. Is that right? To keep Amen. you out of God's name. So let's believe the Lord. Amen. Let's have faith in God. Talk to him. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. That God will ever bless and keep us in his holy will. Is that being all? We're glad for you. We're glad to see Giovanni. And I know Jennifer is somewhere close and maybe Edward. That thank God for keeping them over the highway. So thanks, we're glad for you. I hope you receive something that will benefit you. May God bless you. Let us remember to, um, what should we do? What should we do? What? What, what, what should we do one to another? Exalt one another. How long? Let us fear that's what happened. The promise of being left us. Of what? Entering into the So saints, be encouraged. Young people, we're glad for all of you. May God ever bless you all and keep us. Keep you and we just thank God for each and every one of you. And just, just remember the words of God. Is that right? God is able. It's all about faith. It's all about faith. Yes. It's a great message on tonight. Beautiful. Um, reminded me of a text message. Um, I was actually, my heart and mind was on Sister Jewel, and I texted her just this week. You know, she was on my mind, and Sister Tabitha was on my mind, just to want to reach out to her and just have a, a yearning and a heart to reach out to write a letter, just like you said. I was like, you know, I can still write a letter, or whatever I can do to communicate with her, whatever I can do. And I know the sisters had the group of the texting, some didn't want, some did, but like you said, it's the it's a work into it. We have to get into it, the routine of it. And it's always been in me to always want for me to communicate. I love to communicate whatever way I can. Text is my best way because I'm so busy. But I just appreciate it. And I thank God for the message. And also I came across like a um, a picture on Pinterest that was, it was a guy who was getting ready to commit suicide to hang himself, but he received a text message from somebody that said, stay strong. It would be okay. And it, I mean, I just looked at it this week, and this message is, and I didn't even share that with you, you know that. But it just confirmed your message and the greatness of encouraging each other, and especially in the way of the Lord. So I thank God for the Thank God. Let's work on it, and, and God can help us. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, glad to see you, Jennifer. Glad to see you, Edward. Come in. Glad to see all of you. God for keeping y'all over the highways in the name of Jesus Christ. So we thank God for all things. I thought earlier when you all were singing that I heard her, I heard Jennifer. I thought I heard her. I come out looking, I said, I don't see her. Somebody sounds like her. But that's how God works, isn't it? Really. But we're glad. We're glad for all of us. May God bless you. Glad for June. I got you, June. I got you. And what's the other young man's name? Keith? June Keith? Keith, right? Have you, have you been here before? Yes, sir. Seems like I can't just be. You know, I know what's happening. People are growing up. Yeah. You know, when people are growing up, you, you know, you haven't seen them in a while. Y'all know y'all always welcome. In the name of Jesus Christ, we're glad for you. And I hope that you're hearing that. Um, I hope you're hearing something that will benefit you and help you, and then if there's any question that may arise in your thoughts and mind, I don't know what you're thinking. You know, I'm always open, or someone is always, some of the brothers, if you can't get it to them, or uh, and then we can sit down and talk. It's always good to have an open mind and want to learn about God because people are talking about everything else a lot of times, but they're not really getting down to the real uh, need of having God in their lives. So, we're glad for you all, and may God bless you and keep you in His honor prayers. That being all, yes.
I do want to thank and praise the Lord also for the word of God tonight. And I just want to share this um, right brief. The other day at work, um, just listen to the gospel and preach all the time. But the other day at work, this parent came to pick her child up. And um, she said, oh, you wear that on your head. She looked at me. She said, you know, I won't tell you this if you don't mind. She said, you was in my dream. And I looked at her. I didn't tell you that. I said, okay, where's she going? Because I know there's people that, people do see things, I know. And I said, Lord, help me, Jesus. And I, you know, I was, she just looked at me and I said, yeah. She said, yeah, you was in my dream. And, um, but she said it was good, though, because she said, in my dream, you was just there. Things was going on. And I do praise the Lord, because she said, but you, you were just there. You was just standing back. You was watching, and you didn't say anything. And I, you know, and that, I began to really like, I said, Lord, just help me, because you never know who God is showing you us too, or uh, even how people see Christ through our life. Amen. And I just, you know, I just, um, you know, say, Lord, I want to be more careful and mindful of what I do, how I say, because you never know who's watching you. Or uh, even, like I said, who the Lord will deal with in a dream. I don't know this lady's name. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to tell her. I didn't know who she, what her child name was, you know. But um, anyway, she, just, she said, yeah, it was in a good way. You were kind of way. You were standing back. And you was watching. I just said, well, Lord, thank you. And I said, I pray that, that the Lord continue to help, you know, her and, as well as um, me, that I will live right. Because I don't want to be a hindrance to nobody. I often say that. This month, it'll soon be 48 years. The Lord saved me. Been mm -hmm. baptized. I love you. talk to myself a lot and just thank you, praise the Lord, you know, I'm examining myself. Mm -hmm. Not that, you know, I'm so big and so great, but I want to continue to be humble that the mm -hmm. Lord, I may be a service to the Lord, because I know yes, he can Jesus. take me out any day, any place. Jesus. I'm not so high, so big. But I thank you, praise the Lord, for the Lord to deal with us, thanks to God, I want to continue, because I know the word of God is true, because I know he's saying the last days, he will do it, he's been revealing um, great things to my family. So our children, we share things about ourselves, and we begin to say, you know, the Lord showed me, me, in my dream. That's what makes me so afraid. Yes. God is real. And I yes, just thank yes. you, praise the Lord, for yes, that yes. Thank yes. God. Continue to pray for us. Pray yes, for the yes. man of God. That the Lord will continue to use him for his own will and glory, because he do need glory, glory, glory. the Lord help as well as I do need the Lord help us. I did not realize when we got married on oh, 41 years coming this year that he'll be a man of God. But I know I cried and I prayed and I didn't want to be a hindrance to him because yes. I knew and began yes. to understand about the way of holiness. Thank you, God. Pray for me and pray for one thank another. You, thank you. Thank you. Praise God for my sister Sonia being here tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The Lord is dealing with us. I was talking to you. Jesus. All right. I was talking to my younger sister Vivian called me tonight and um, this Jesus. evening. Bless and she sounds so good. So good, her spirit sounds so good, and I just thank you for it. And the Lord thing, Jesus. you know, Elvis, she said, oh, you know, I'm going through. Jesus. And she's trying to be a lot of children, but the mm. burdens and the trouble, yes. you can't, like you say, just make you run sometimes, make you hide. Mm. You don't yeah. want to see nobody, but deep within you crying, and mm -hmm. people don't see your tears. Mm -hmm. So thank God, continue to pray for her mm -hmm. and everybody else who's going through trouble and trials mm -hmm. and testings. You know, she yes. can't see, but the Lord is in her. And I know yes. the Lord is able to bring her sight back. And God just will I'm going to continue to believe in God and others Thank that want through desires, hurt, pain, Jesus. or what it may be that the Lord will live in us Jesus. and the Lord will dwell in our Thank home. You, Lord. Because Hallelujah. I know God is real. Pray for me, Thank, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 We thank God for our words and the information that's coming. And we continue to pray for Vivian, pray for Brother Kirby and those Saints equipment, the saints that are here in other areas also, we know that there are some that's not doing well. And but we thank God for Vivian, thank you, Lord. Sister Hadley, you know, because she sounded really good today, and I got a chance to talk with her. And you know, to you know, I was like, it's amazing, Lord, and I'm not gonna hold you long, but it's Friday night, so <laughs> we're glad to be here and be around each other. I know some of us got to go to work early this morning. But we thank God for God keeping us. Is that right? Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You know, it's, it's you, something Lord. to experience this. I was in the bed the other day, you know, you know, I used to travel, and I, and I was I was awake, seemed like I was awake, but I couldn't see. 
And you know, that was one of the worst feelings, you know, for me. You know, it's like I'm awake and it's like I was blind. I couldn't see. And I'm like, I want to see and couldn't see. And this so happened. I, you know, it's like in the sleep, I just kind of like, you know, I just, just jump and open my eyes. I was so glad to be able to see, you know, and, you know, and I say that because there are those of us that have ailments, but some of us don't understand, you know, and we're not grateful to the point of thanking God for what we have, you know, to be able to have the act of use our limbs, to be able to see, hear, smell, taste, and feel. I mean, it means a whole lot. So, you know, pray for different ones. I was, got some news about the curry. Kirby, you know, he's really ill. He can't can't even turn over. He had a pretty bad stroke. Jesus. He can't really turn over himself. So I got to turn him over. So. <laughs> Oh. Uh -huh. 